Okay, so May, June 2016, we've reached the end of the paper. We've done question one, two, three, four. We've got question five to do, multiple choice. Five marks, it should take you six minutes. Let's go look at the question. There's it. Okay, they're MCQ, so you need to choose the correct answers. Okay, very similar to your assignment question that you guys get. All right, assignment one and assignment two. So take a minute or two to answer these questions, and then we'll come back and discuss. Great, so you guys have tried those questions. Let's discuss each one separately. Question 5A. Last question in this exam paper. A says, the total of the creditors column in the cash payments journal of JB had been undercast. If it's undercast, it means it's, it's too low. Which one of the following general ledger accounts will be affected by this error? Well, if the creditors column is too low, the creditors column will be affected by this error. Undercast meaning too little. The creditors column, so the creditors control account will be affected. Option four. B, which one of the following possibilities represents the correct order in which underneath steps must be followed when a transaction takes place? Okay, so if a transaction takes place, we need to look at the actual recording of it. So we need to look at the steps. Indicate the folio number in the subsidiary journal. That'll come later. The amounts debited must be equal to the amounts credited. That's trial balance. That's later. Think about what the effect on the accounting equation is. Okay, that's quite early. The date of the transaction must be indicated. That's important. Identify the accounts which will be involved. Determine which accounts have to be debited and which accounts have to be credited. That's part of the first bit. Indicate the name of the contra account applicable. Okay, so the first thing would definitely be to get the dates. Okay, then after the date, identify the accounts must be equal to the amounts credited. Well, the amounts debited, that will be trial balance, but if they're not looking at the trial balance, then you would have to have the same amount. So let's see if, uh, let's see if three is correct. Okay, because three is the only one that starts with D. Um, after after that will be G. Indicate the name of the contract account applicable. That will be correct. Uh, C. Think about the effect. You would have to increase or decrease. If you know it's increase or decrease, then you'll determine which account is which accounts are involved and then the effect. Yes. Okay. So three is correct. Right. Option three is correct. C. Choose the correct option. An asset increases on the credit side, you know that's wrong. Assets increase on the debit. A liability increase on the debit side, you know that's wrong, that's out. Income increase on the debit, you know that's wrong. Income increases on the credit. An expense increases on the debit, you know that's right. Decreases on the credit side of that account, no, that's wrong. Drawings increases on the, oh, sorry, decreases on the, on the credit side. I'm reading it funny. Okay, that's correct. Drawings increase on the credit, that's wrong. Option four. Okay, they said expenses increases on the debit side and decreases on the credit side. That is correct. Okay, so the first part is right and so is the second part. Option four. D. Echo uses control accounts. Which one of the funding alternatives will cause the trial balance to not balance? The discount column in the cash payments journal was debited to the discount allowed account in the general journal. Okay, that would create a problem. Why? The discount in the cash payment is what? A discount that you've received. Discount received is income. It should be credited. But you post that on the debit side, which will make the trial balance not balanced. So one is correct, but let's check the others. A credit purchase invoice was correctly entered as 514 in the purchase journal, but the amount was incorrectly posted. So if it's incorrectly posted, this is to the personal account. So the personal account is not the general ledger, so it would still balance. The bank overdraft appears as a credit balance. That doesn't affect it at all. Credit sales invoiced as that entered as that. 
and post it to as that. Okay, so again, it's post to the personal account. The personal account won't affect the general ledger. The bank favorable appears as a debit balance, the trial balance, that doesn't affect it. One is correct. Okay, last question. E. Name the three subsidiary journals involved in a transfer of funds from a trust creditor's account to the account of the client's ledger. Okay, so definitely transfer. Where's the transfer journal? There's the transfer journal, definitely. Okay, transfer journal would be part of that um, application. What did they say? Transferring funds from trust creditors to the account in the creditor's ledger. So you're transferring funds from your trust creditors, okay, to the client's ledger. So that means that the, they're making a payment. Okay? Because you're transferring funds from trust creditors. And your business would be receiving money. You got that right. Nice. Okay, option two. And now we've completed May, June 2016. Five marks for multiple choice. Takes you six minutes to do. Happy? Great.